Hi guys, it's Tammy, and welcome to my homestead. Today, I was wanting to walk around my property and show you a few things. This is the end of July, and I have about 23 acres, and what I'm doing today is I'm going to walk around and look for ed wild edibles. Um, I have found a few things already I was wanting to show you. I am in zone 6, so if you have these, and you're in a similar zone, then, then this is what stuff's gonna be looking right now, like right now. The first thing that I wanna show you is this peach tree. I actually just found this last week. So that's what the leaves look like. There's peaches on there. They're, oh, maybe about walnut size right now. But that's what, uh, that's what we're looking for. And that's what, what hopefully I'll be harvesting some of later in the year. Now we're going to go over into the woods. Okay, now we're here by a persimmon tree. I'm a little bit in the woods. Uh, it may be a little bit of distance, but I'm going to show you the bark here, the leaves, so you can get an idea of what our persimmon trees look like. Now the fruit is green. When it uh, is ready, it will fall and it will be orange. If you eat it early, you will not be pleasantly surprised. It will pucker your mouth and it kind of dries up. So, uh, uh, like I said, right now they are green, but here's the persimmon. I hope you can see the little round green balls there. And then here, leaves and the tree. Here is the next thing I want to show you. This is my wild plum. I guess they're trees, but they're, they don't look like real good trees. But here we go. Here's my leaves. And here are the fruits. Again, they're not ready yet, but there's a lot of them on this tree. And over, all of my plum trees have this orange marking tape on them. They were one of the first trees to bloom in the spring. They bloomed out in white. So they had white flowers all over them and nothing else was blooming. So I was able to go ahead and go around and mark my trees. So I would know what was what when I got more foliage on them and I could hopefully find them in the woods come uh, time to harvest. And it seems to work pretty good. Also, we have been clearing out, you know, taking a few dead things down here and there. So that also helps me to know that despite the fact that these trees look awful, that I'm not gonna cut them down because they're fruit trees and they do grow back every year and they do grow plums. So definitely don't wanna cut them down. So we went ahead and marked them. Well, I'm in my walnut patch, and I'm actually not seeing any walnuts low enough to pick. Now, there are some right there. I'm Hopefully, you can see that through the leaves. And then this nice tree here is a walnut. So I'll know to come this year on the ground around here and look for my walnut. So I hope you enjoyed our walk around the woods. If you have any questions or comments, make sure and leave them below and make sure and subscribe so you'll get our next video.